think if we each, whether we know Kaylee or Garrett or why we're here today, if we take a second to just think about them and how they make us feel, one word kind of came to mind whenever I was thinking of them as a couple. And as a couple, they just are so intentional. The way that they love each other, the way that they love other people around them. They're the type of couple you just feel warmed and welcomed by them. You could be a stranger, and the way that they talk and speak to you, it's so intentional. And the thing that I love about you both the most, too, is I met you both as individuals, and you guys have only raised each other up. You haven't asked each other to change. You've been very intentional with how you love each other. You love exactly who you're going to marry tomorrow. first want to say is Joey and Teresa have raised an amazing young man and we are so grateful for Gary. Kate is extraordinary. She amazes me because she makes me better. What I've always told Kaylee, and I really, really mean this, I've said, Kaylee, you have this amazing spirit. You make people in the world better because of you and I've written her many a thing where I've said let your spirit shine and what I can really say is Garrett makes Kaylee's spirit shine to my husband on our wedding day I love you so much the last few days have been an insane emotional roller coaster, and I am so looking forward to the moment I get to look into your eyes, hold your hand, and call you my husband. When we reconnected five years ago, I can vividly remember thinking to myself that even though I didn't know if we would get together, I knew we would be best friends. I've never connected so easily and so deeply with anyone, and I feel so grateful to be able to truly call you my best friend. But since then, you've become so much more. You are my greatest supporter my most loyal confidant, and the strongest partner. You bring peace in the chaotic moments of life, and you bring joy in the mundane moments. I am so grateful for every kiss, every laugh, every cry, and every struggle that we have shared together. Both the good and the bad have given me the confidence that we can face anything life has to offer. Today and every day, I will love you for exactly who you are. I will cherish every moment we are together and long for you when we are apart. I will stand loyally by your side, and you will never have to face anything in life alone. I will support your dreams and celebrate your wins. I will comfort you and be a safe haven for you in bad times. I will remain ever more curious about you and never let you forget that you're my best friend. Today and every day I am yours, and you are mine. Love, Kaylee. We are gathered together here today in the presence of God, family, and friends to celebrate the marriage of Kaylee and Garrett. Today, we rejoice and support them as they enter into one of life's most important and sacred partnerships. My love, you mean everything to me. When I found you, I didn't believe in love, and I wasn't ready for a relationship. I was accepting the fact that I most likely wouldn't find the perfect girl for me. So when I started talking to you, I wanted to protect myself from getting hurt again. But you did something I never would have expected. You showed me love through friendship. And now that our friendship has blossomed into a bond that can never be broken, I owe you the world. And I promise you, Kaylee, I'm going to do everything in my power to give you all that I am and all that I ever will be for the rest of my life. I promise to always love, protect, and be there for you. But you are my everything. Love, your best friend.
To be around these two bright, hard-working young adults is a blessing. Yet with all these incredible qualities, they could be no different than many others. It is their love for God and each other that sets them apart. It is this love that has brought us here together today, a celebration of two friends that have found the strength and happiness of which only God could be the source. I still remember my father. If you ask him questions about marriage or whatever, you know, he wasn't going to say a whole lot. There was a couple of distinct things I remember from Teresa and my wedding. And I still remember Calvin. He asked, he said, well, Joe, what do you think about uh, this wedding? And I was kind of expecting to say, it was nice. And that was it. But he, uh, he actually said, you know what? A lot of people were asking me how I'm doing losing a son, but I'm not losing a son. I'm gaining a daughter. And then he had this tremendous smile on his face, and he said, and I'm gaining a good one. <laughs> In the words of my father, we're, we're gaining a good one as well. Senior year of college, we got to live together, and we were basically dating. I had a long distance girlfriend, and Garrett was single, and we did everything together. And then this one day, he starts hanging out with a girl, and I am so jealous. I am low-key, like, <laughs> resenting this girl, and I have no idea who it is. Eventually, she came around, and I realized I knew her, and I knew from the moment they started hanging out, it was going to work out, and I've never seen Garrett so happy. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida, for God, your family, and your friends, I now pronounce you lawfully and spiritually united as husband and wife. Garrett, you may kiss your wife. Thank <laughs> you.